Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be talking about how you can test the leaf for starch. Now in biology you learn about photosynthesis in that you learn how the plant is able to produce its own source of food, glucose ultimately. Now glucose gets stored in the plant in a variety of places but as starch. So what we're doing is that we're testing a leaf for starch to ultimately prove that it was able to photosynthesize and produce glucose in the first place because if the leaf has starch then it means it was able to photosynthesize, produce glucose and then store that glucose away. And it's a really quick uh, test that we can do. So here we've got a leaf. We've got a leaf and if this leaf were to photosynthesize in the sun you'd see lovely nice green colour to this but you wouldn't necessarily know that it's producing any starch so we're going to take a green leaf and we're going to test it for starch so just very quick rough shading just for the purpose of the diagrams that we're going to do in this video so we've got a green leaf here and we're going to test this green leaf for starch and see if it's producing any now what we can do is cover a strip. Now there's two ways we can really do this experiment. We can either take a leaf that's been left in the light and a leaf that's left in the dark and prove ultimately that when in the dark it won't photosynthesize so there would be no starch present or even uh, more simple than that we can just put a piece of dark paper and this is a much more common uh, version of this practical a piece of dark paper or dark strip over the leaf so we leave the plant that the leaf is from to photosynthesize. We leave it in sunlight, but we've covered a portion of the leaf with a dark strip. So we're preventing that part from being exposed to sunlight. Let's say we leave it 24 hours. So we wait a period of 24 hours. And then we carry out this experiment to test the leaf for starch. What we do is, step one, we take that leaf, we'll remove the strip. First of all, we'll take that strip off. So then we'll remove the strip from the leaf. And we're going to add that leaf to a beaker of water. So we're going to take a beaker of water here and we're going to add our leaf to it. Just a very quick, very quick sketch of this here. Now you want the water to be boiling. Now there's a few ways we could do this. Again, we could boil a kettle and just leave it in uh, the water there or we could use a Bunsen burner and heat a beaker of water but either way what's important is that this is boiling water and what that does is help to soften the leaf so we want to add it to boiling water and we want to leave it in boiling water for about 10 minutes or so so you can use a Bunsen or just use boiling water from a kettle the same th it will ultimately lead to the same thing what we then do is use a pair of forceps. So using forceps, we want to take that leaf, so add the leaf if we remove it from the water to a tube, and the best ones to use for this would be probably a boiling tube. Boiling tube of ethanol. Or alcohol. Now what that does, so if we were to draw the picture of this, so we're going to have a tube here. We're going to have our leaf that we're ultimately testing for the presence of starch there. So this is our boiling tube of ethanol. And again, we're going to have that resting in this beaker of boiling water. Now, whether you choose to just leave it in boiling water or use a Bunsen burner to keep maintain that heat, absolutely fine, we'll do the same thing. So we could use a Bunsen burner to keep this water boiling ultimately. The only other way you do it 
you tend to in school is to use a kettle and you continually top up this beaker with boiling hot water. It's one of the uh, skills that's encouraged to be able to maintain one's own water bath. But we've got essentially a boiling tube of ethanol and we've got this leaf submerged in the ethanol in the boiling water. And we're going to leave that for, again, approximately five to ten minutes. Now, what that ultimately will do is decolorize the leaf. So that process is going to decolorize the leaf. And it's going to allow us to carry out our third and final step. So if we shrink the screen ever so slightly, we can just make some notes on this third and final step. So once we have left this leaf in ethanol, we're going to remove it. from the ethanol and add to just a plate or a petri dish. So we'll have this plate or petri dish that's dry and we're going to have our leaf, I know it's only a very rough sketch, but our leaf there that we would have decolorized. Now when we add iodine solution and it's important to say iodine solution here when we don't add iodine solution to this leaf should there be starch present iodine solution will turn blue black color it will start off sort of browny uh, yellowish color but it will turn bluey black if there is a positive test for starch so if we then use the pipette so if we took a pipette And in that pipette, we had some iodine solution. And if we add that iodine solution, it will turn blue-black where starch is present. Now, on this particular picture of the leaf, the parts that were exposed to the sunlight, so if we look at our original picture back at the top here, the parts that were exposed to sunlight, the green areas, would have photosynthesized. So glucose would have been produced in those regions, and therefore starch is likely to be found. So those regions, if we were to draw them onto this particular plant here, those regions would give a positive test with iodine solution. So those regions here would appear blue-black. And you get something that looks a little bit like this. So you'll have parts of the leaf that appear bluey-black where you've rinsed that leaf in iodine solution from the pipette and where that iodine solution has gone blue black shows that starch must be present and that strip the dark strip that we had covering the leaf that would have prevented that region of the leaf from accessing sunlight so that region would not have photosynthesized and if it wouldn't have photosynthesized there would be no glucose and hence no starch present so iodine solution would show no change in color so if you to test the leaf that region where this original dark strip was, would give a sort of brownie orange colour with iodine solution. It would show no colour change. And that would imply that in that region, there was no starch being present. Or no starch present, no starch being made. And you can see, if we look at where the dark strip was originally placed in our first picture, that would make sense. That dark strip, covering a portion of the leaf that couldn't photosynthesize. If we look at our end result, where we've got an asterisk here, we can see that that same strip shows a negative test with iodine solution. That part has no starch present. The other parts of the leaf show that starch is present. So we'll just make a note of that. Starch present. There we go. So there we have a very quick video on how to test a leaf for starch. 
to prove that sunlight is needed for photosynthesis ultimately. Okay, I hope all that helps.